Hey everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play of Chicken Run. From where we last left off, we've successfully escaped from Tweety's farm, and now we continue on to Act 2. Mac, I know our old plan was less than perfect. I hear. We need a new plan. This time, I have a number of escape ideas. Oh, I'm impressed. Let's hear them. Okay. Which plan do you want to talk about? Okay, now what we see here is we have three plans here. Let's start off in Act 2 here, and we have, we'll have that again in Act 3. Oh, you might notice I skipped the cutscene again due to copyright policy. Let's see, we're going to do, like, the seesaw plan first. Well, my first idea is to make a seesaw and launch us over the fence. Hmm, to make a seesaw, we could easily find something for that. However, we're going to need a big weight to drop onto the seesaw and jettison us over the fence. You find the weight, then. I think the best place to collect the pieces is in Hut 11. OK, that sounds great. OK, which plan do you want to talk about? OK, that's the seesaw plan now we're done with. Next up is the fireworks plan. Mr Tweedy has bought some fireworks. I'll bet we could use those to launch us out of here. That sounds a wee bit dangerous. I'll need to do some projectile calculations to get us over the fence. We will obviously need some fireworks and a box of matches to light them. Yes, and I have an idea of where to get them. As this could be dangerously explosive, I think we should store them all with barbs in Hut 16. Yes, that probably is the safest place. You better warn them to be ready. OK, which plan do you want to talk about? Yeah, like we would trust barbs to keep the fireworks safe. I mean, you know what happens when you play with them. And last but not least, is the catapult. I have a plan to build a catapult. Hmm, sounds familiar. I thought we'd tried that before. Yes, but from that we've learnt some lessons. We could try again. Make a bigger one. What do you think? Let's see. Uh, maybe... In fact, one of my original ideas was for a much larger catapult. And on reflection, it's probably the better plan. We'll need an old pram, a tennis racket, a ladder and some string. I also need to find a spoon to dig under the fence where it's soft and muddy. Once you've explored more of the farm and collected the things, where will you hide them? I think that Hut 15 would be just the place. OK, which plan do you want to talk about? I think that's a, this is about it, really. We're going to need to go through all of them again. Well, away with you, Ginger, and good luck. No, oh, yeah, you may remember my last video, I was talking about what I did up in the Lake District. Well, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I did some pony trekking again. And also, when. Also, like on Thursday night, also, I went to like Gary Flo's cottage, you know, to keep. You know, to watch like the. One of, my, one of my bad education DVDs with like Caitlin. Jessica and Callum and Caitlin's boyfriend, Lewis. And oh! Oh yeah, I still, I still need to think. Oh yeah, you know, I'm still in like a casting. Just doing, I'm still doing the casting calls of my fan of, of Bionic Ignition, Island of Doom, and Monsters in Glass Factory. But I still need more people to audition on, like, behind the voice actors and casting call club. I'm still thinking... I'm only still thinking about having Callum in to, to try out in my Bionic Island of Doom fan dub. I still need to ask his mum, Flo, about that, if it's okay. If it's okay with her, then you might arrange a recording session one weekend, or possibly during the half term. Well, because Callum's at school most of the week. Oh yeah, he's start. He's just started his second year of secondary school now. You know, Huntington School is the school I went to years ago. I still remember some times I had there. I would love to come back there for like a visit or a reunion. Oh yeah, you can see it on the daytime setting already. You can see as opposed to Rocky there. Oh yeah, notice there's two dogs instead of one. Because security has tightened since Act 1. You have to be very careful with the dogs though, still. Let's go visit Hut 16 to see Babs. Hello Babs. Are you in charge of the firework escape plan? Hello, Ginger. That's right. I think I'll need some matches, won't I? Yes, and I saw that Mr Tweedy bought some fireworks recently. That's how I got the idea. But we'll have to be really careful. Yeah, you know how dangerous they are, though. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that while I'm recording, I'm recording my voice, but there's the, you hear the computer working in the background. To the main computer, the, the PC. And here's another piece of the map. The, as you can see, this map shows the entire farm. But there's a dog you have to watch out for. The farm might show you the component. There's the compartments I've unlocked. Are you ready to make the catapult? Made. Yes, Betty. Ginger. I know what I have to do. Well done. I just hope I can find everything. I'll be back here as soon as I can. Uh, well, uh, I won't you won't confuse them with, like, Betty DeVille from Rugrats and All Grown Up. And, oh, yeah, I also watched the All Grown Up specials. It's part of the 25th anniversary of the premiere of Rugrats. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Let's check what's in HUD 4. I mean, there's not much in these HUDs, apart from sprouts. I think we'll come back to that later. Another piece of the map! Shows compartment C. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, well, there's a dog right over there. I believe this shows the other part of the farm. Let's have the lever for the, for the seesaw plan. I thought of this seesaw plan some time ago. Well, Ginger, we can always rely on you for a new plan. Max said that you're going to find the weight I need. That's right. It's got to be heavy enough to launch us over the fence. Yeah, like I would expect the chickens to work out in the gym. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Imagine if they were working out. <laughs> During the day, and Mr. Tweedy saw them. He'd be like, oh, there's a dog right over there. It's a close one. No, no. Oh, you didn't see compartment D, which we have not unlocked yet. But still, we need to be careful of the dogs, because they've tightened up the security. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, oh God! Oh, God! Oh, that was a close one. Well, the good thing is I haven't got anything on me. How often do you get caught by dogs like that? In the meantime, we're gonna go... What I usually do is I go there to... to, to meet another character we will be playing as. See the fence we've cut in Act 1? Well, we're gonna go through that again. And it's time to meet... This guy! That, that's Rocky the Rooster. Rocky! Your baby doll. We need objects from around the farm. Sleep tight, Angel Face. The rug's on the case. <laughs> I remember that line from the movie. Now, Rocky here is quite different to Ginger. He has the same double jump here, but he can push strong stuff. I to watch out for this dog. There's Mrs. Tweedy over there. This time going in and out of that egg sorting room. I don't know what that heart beating is for. It's like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Thing that occurs when you're near something that's about to catch you. Getting tired of making minuscule profits. Oh, she said that again! That line from the movie when she was doing the calculations and all that. I hope she doesn't see me. Oh, please. Oh, thank goodness. Now we can go in because her back is turned. Oh no, yeah, I'll show you what happens when we get caught by her in Act 2 and Act 3. There's, I'll wait for, we'll wait for her to come in. Like so.
Oh, uh, believe me, this will be scary in Act 3. <laughs> well, this is in the free quarter view in Act 1. Oh, yeah, we have to push this. But we, we have to watch out for this, this is Tweety, though. Oh, God, not again! <laughs> this is the second time. This is the third time I got caught by hell already in this Let's Play. Coming in again. So the best, the only way is to hide from, from like, in these egg containers. I don't know why she keeps going in and out of this room. There's not much to explore. Oh, there's a wait over there, but we'll get them as soon as Mrs. Tweedy gets out of here. This is the exalted room we saw her in the beginning of the, of the movie. Profit's going down. Okay, she's coming back in already, but... Oh, well, I'm nearly there already. <sighs> the music in this act is not that bad. She won't be able to see me through this container, the eggs. But well, chickens do lay eggs. Three later on. Okay, now she's coming back in. <sighs> I'd like an inventory again. Oh yeah. We'll wait, we'll wait for her to go out again. Oof, good thing she didn't see me there. Okay. Wait for her to come back in there, and, and when she, once she comes back in, and her, when her back is turned, we'll get out of here. Like now. Dog! Oh, good thing I spotted him. He's got the well, here. Now we're going to the garden where we went in Act 1 to pick up the night dress and the boots. But still, there's another hazard in here. To avoid stepping on them steel girders. I think they are. You can see that dog with a tennis racket on it. But we need to find that bone over there. This football. Be a bit quiet. We don't want to disturb him. Well, how about that? Maybe if you step on them, the dog wakes up. In fact, well, how about I don't know what. I don't know what happens if you get caught by this dog sleeping. Or if you get the same view as like, the dog in Act 3. He'll have a good bone to chew on. I mean, how many dogs do the Tweedies own? Surely they don't own a lot. Whew. Now all we have to do is try and get back without getting caught. Because if you do get caught... Well, if you get caught when you're playing with Rocky, you don't really have to go so far to retrieve the items. I'll mention that later. Hey! Rocky, did you manage to get anything? Hey, good things come to those who wait, Dollface. Oh, he always calls Ginger Dollface. Still, remember the flying lessons he did in the movie? God. I remember Ginger was getting frustrated with his laziness, like when he was in, like, in the hot tub, like, thing. <laughs> it was a bat, actually. Ah, here we go. Hi, Mac. Oh, is it Mac? I got the weight, but it certainly wasn't easy. You have done well, Hen. Ah, you need to take it to Heart Eleven. 
They're collecting the pieces for the seesaw over there. But it's so heavy. Okay, now I've had a break. I'll take it over there. Yeah. We're on then, Mac. These are for the firework plan. Excellent, but not in here, Hen. They're dangerous. We decided to take them to Babs in Hut 16 for safekeeping. Yes, I'm going there now. Yeah. Don't think we would trust Babs to keep hold of the matches. We need these for the catapult plan, Mac. But That's me. right. They're waiting for you in Hut 15. Great. I'll go there now. Yeah, you, you know, kids, matches are dangerous. <laughs> the only grown up should handle matches. Now I sound like Matthew Corbett in the Sooty Show. <laughs> in that episode where Sweep was doing the. pretending to be a fireman. We need the matches here. Ah. I found the matches. I think they were Mrs. Tweedy's. Aw, oh, it's nice of her to let us have them. Won't she need them to cook a Sunday lunch? If we don't hurry, we'll be her Sunday lunch. We still need those fireworks so we can launch ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, they're on the other side of the farm. Now, we do. Let's see what we've got here. See, we've got the tennis racket, and the cord, and the weights, but we'll save the weight for last. Oh, they notice a dog coming. I found this for the catapult. Perfect. That's just what I need. No problem. I'll get on and find the other things. Oh heck, this is hot fifth. Sorry I don't. Max told me what to do. I'm so excited. You could always check with Mac to see where that's needed. I mean, I don't know what I did wrong there. I could press the wrong button. Anyway, let's see what else is there. Well, there's not really much in the other huts. Oh, oh thank goodness. No, I nearly lost the weight. Thank heavens. And let's see what's in the hut 12. I remember this. There's more sprouts. Oh, there's a picture right here. Because like a little bathtub. Watch this. Because like ginger's on a treadmill. Also, watch this. It's like she's doing star jumps or something. Anyway, enough of the foolishness. Let's have a look to see what's in hut 5. Like I said, there's not much in these huts. a plank of wood, which we'll need for Act 3, which is like the last act of this game. If you don't know what Act 3 is, it's the one with the plane, which we'll get onto later. Let's see, was it HUD 6? Like, oh, bonus pictures again, which you'll find in HUD 1. Here we go, hut 11. Here we go, it's our first mini game. Here's the big weight you wanted. Brilliant! We're ready to go! And go we will, all of us. Come on! Okay, um, okay, I haven't done this in a while, but you may have to bear with me. Five chickens of the matches. I love the music in this mini game. That could be ideal for the chicken. Why does Rocky feel? I mean, there's a very many new mini games at time. This is the time when you want to stop one. I'd like to see John Axe. I'd like to see John Axe gladiator to let me read that.
think I can do it? He hasn't seen me fail yet. Oh, now that's over and done with. Now let's get back. Dog again. I'm not sure if we have time to do like the other side of the farm. Oh, there's another piece of the map. Oh, there's a spoon that we need to get to the other side. I think we've got plenty of time. It's just like what we did with, with Act Bomb the wire cutters. This time we're using a spoon. It acts like a, it's like a spade for them. They're like a spade for you used to go on the beach. Rocky, you're here. Here's Rocky again. Well, how about that? Like, we no, need we objects from around Balboa. the edge of the farm. No, yeah. Sleep tight, Angel Face. I want to the show you something funny here. Case. You can see here. There's Mr. Tweedy over here. And if you watch right here. You can see he walks right past Ginger right here. I mean, come on, really. Isn't that his job to make sure that the chickens don't escape? No, yeah. I remember what I did in Act 1. I did this. You can see he hasn't got a torch this time. Considering we're in the daytime setting. Oopsie. Oh. Oopsie! Again! Now let me show you that again. Oh, come on! Oh yeah, watch this. Oh, oh come on, really? That usually happens when... He usually says a dialogue right across it. Oh, look at him with his eyes closed. We only saw that with Mrs. Tweedy. Okay, let me show you this again. You can see here, he didn't notice Ginger right here. I mean, is he blind or something? Okay, that, whenever, you know, whenever I pause that, the music starts playing. You know, like chord music, like, like duh. <laughs> Okay, let's get the prep first, the chassis. And then we'll go over there, to this tunnel. Okay, there's a dog again, but we'll have to get him out of the way first. I mean, come on, how many dogs do the Tweety Zone? Never mind what I already said. I'm the hole here. Okay, just bear in mind, Rocky here, not to be confused with Rocky Balboa. Oh, come on! I can't do that! I've lost a pram chassis again! Although, technically, in Act 1, I've lost a pose just as soon as I got them. Let's check my inventory. Come back to that later. Oh, please. Good thing I've got out of it as fast as fast I can.
just like we did with the egg. So this is Tweety's egg. Sort of boom. We have to put that down. I think it's a stack of hay. Whoa, where am I going? Oh, you know, chickens can't fly. Should try telling that to what Eddie said in Ed and Eddie. I mean, I mean, Ed loves chickens. Especially the ones from Wolf. <laughs> He's like, I love chickens, Double D! Whoa. Yeah, oh, my hat goes to Eddie. He's like, oh, come on, Eddie, I want, a I want to pet the chickens. Please, please. I love chickens, Eddie! I suppose you all remember that. There's a plank of wood here that we can't pick up. I mean, I remember that episode where. Ed looks after Rob's animals when when he was away at the family reunion, and he used the flutes to control them, They're like the pipe piper. <laughs> suppose you've, suppose you've, suppose you've all heard of the pipe piper. Oh, thank goodness I was able to drive the dog away. I can't risk losing them again. Come on. Whoa! No, 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 no! Well, how about that? That was a close shave. Speaking of which, you know, you know there's a short film from Artman called Balls and Gromit. A close shave. I like that short. And Chicken was made by the same company who made Balls and Gromit. You know, Arden is very good at their stop motion animations. Oh, it's a good thing I was able to escape from the dog. And there's the fireworks there that we need. And now yeah, there's a tractor here. Remember, in Act 3, we won't have that in 3. But, oh yeah, we need to activate its engine first. I mean, I'm not a tractor engineer or anything. Dangerous to be playing with tools, you know. Whoa! Whoa! Let's try that again. Ooh, now we can take them back to Ginger. Especially on the road. When I'm driving. When I'm out and about. <sighs> Whew. Well, despite losing the prep chassis, I was able to get it back. Oh, no, no, no. I can't risk getting caught again. Oh, look here. Passing Ginger again. Is he half blind or something? Yo, baby doll. Rocky! Okay, now we need to go back. I think we'll do the fireworks a bit of the blast. Whoa! Thank goodness! But nearly got caught by the dog here. <sighs> Finally. At last, I found everything you need. Brilliant! That will finish things off nicely. Is the catapult ready to go? Yes, it's outside facing this the lake. There's another mini game that we can do, this time with the catapult all set up. This is going to be a tricky one because it's around the lake. Medal. 
go. You saved enough of the flock for me to give you a bronze medal. Oh, where are you going? Mind you, he's got other things to do as Fowler. It, I remember him talking about stuff he did in his RAF days. It's always the thing about old folk. They always tell, tell us about the stories they've done. Now we can say, now we can do the firework bit. <sighs> This completes what you need, Babs. Oh, thank you, Ginger. I'm getting a bit nervous. Don't worry. you love it. And we'll all be free at last. All right, then. It'll be nice to see a few fireworks, won't yes, it? it? Would, unless you're not scared of them. The foul shot. Oh, here we go. I may screw up. Every time you get hit by them, couple of things, you get knocked out. Still, we have to get past through this gauntlet of cutlery. This is what this level is. Oh, look, that's what I remember. Although, sometimes, we have Bucky going... Bucky lying on his back. <laughs> lying belly up and... His body goes away. He shrinks. No, 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 no. This isn't getting me nowhere, getting past through this gauntlet of death. Like that. <laughs> oh, come on, Thomas, you could do this. And again, I'm talking to myself all the time. I don't need that anymore. Oh, these swords here. Now, these things can kill you. I have no idea how many TVs are the tools for this. But this time, we don't have the gladiators on the map lots of pants this time. Then they have the gauntlet. This is technically like a gauntlet type map with all the things that are trying to kill you. Instead of like going around the map. Going the zone. Look at this. Look 
Das ist genau das Gleiche mit dem Kreuzchen. And again, I skipped that due to copyright purposes. I'll save again just in case. Anyway, I'm going to cut off here, but I will see you next time if we continue on with my last bit of chicken burn.